I'm Rhonda Anderson at the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Session in San Francisco. I'm joined here today at the Moscone Center with Dr. Bob Ratner, Chief Scientific and Medical Officer with the Association. Welcome, Bob. It's an honor to talk to you. Thank you, Rhonda. So as the CSMO, this is your conference. What do you want people living with diabetes to know about this conference? This conference is going to be huge. Lots of new information about new therapeutics, drugs for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, looking at new monitoring techniques, looking at questions about how should we use what we currently have available. One of the very exciting aspects of this meeting are the situations where we're setting programs up for debate. What should we be doing, pro and con? Blood pressure control, lipid control, use of oral agents in pregnancy, lots of good clinical information to try and guide treatment for people with diabetes. In addition, we're really looking at new developments new ways of defining the clinical history of diabetes, characterizing types of diabetes, so that we can be more precise in how we treat people with diabetes. With so many advances in diabetes technology, what should we really be paying attention to in the near future? There are a lot of new technologies that are, are coming through, both in terms of the artificial pancreas development, where we're going to have several different sessions dealing with that. How to close the loop? What's the role of dual chambers in these closed loop systems and whether or not they're absolutely required? We're looking at a whole variety of new therapies for type 2 diabetes, including more inhaled therapies, GLP-1, insulin, a variety of other therapies. So I think we're going to learn a lot, some of which will be applicable immediately for people with diabetes. Some may take a bit more time. So tell me, what piece of new research are you most looking forward to this week? What are we going to learn here? I'm excited by some of our major conference, uh, major lectures. So we're really focusing in our Banting Award lecture on the role of the GI tract in diabetes, which is clearly coming to play a much more important role. In our Outstanding Scientific Achievement Award lecture, we're concentrating on the brain, looking at that area as a control of glucose control. We've talked for so long about the pivotal role of the pancreas, and there's no question the islet cells are critically important. But anybody with diabetes knows this is a whole body disease, mm -hmm. and we're beginning to learn more about how everything is integrated, and that's really exciting to me. Well, that's awesome. I know we're going to be hearing a lot more from Bob Ratner in the next couple of days. Uh, join me online at diabetes.org slash breaking news for more interviews and more from the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions in San Francisco.